Hey everyone, CV Tech here. Uh, recently, I've done my part one and part two of the HTC Desire 626S. Now, this is kind of just a brief update, um, recap of the HTC Desire 626S. Now, um, I have really praised this phone as being a great phone that works very well. Now, this phone runs the 1.1 GHz quad-core Snapdragon 210 processor with 1.5 gigs of RAM with 8 gigs of built-in storage, but it does support up to a 200 gigabyte micro SD card. Now, this phone is very awesome. Now, you know, if, as a lot of y'all noticed from last year's phones, like the Moto E second generation, the LG Volt 2, they had the 1.2 GHz quad-core Snapdragon 410 processors, but they only have 1 GB of RAM uh, and 8 gigs of built-in storage. So really, you know, with the 410 being a snappier processor, you were still stuck with a miserable 1 GB of RAM. However, they did add an extra half a gig of RAM in this phone here, and it does help in gameplay, as gameplay is very smooth. However, when the phone gets under a bog, it gets under heavy usage, you can tell it's got a 1.1 GHz processor in it, um, 210, because it just does not power as good as phones like the um, the Aquos Crystal, I mean, not the Aquos Crystal, but the uh, Warp Elite, um, even the Volt 2, sometimes seems to load faster than this phone here. Overall experience, though, this is a better phone and a smoother phone in general. That's just in my opinion. Um, sometimes games, I did a comparison by myself uh, playing uh, Asphalt Nitro and starting up at the same time. And the uh, Volt 2 just barely did beat this phone out uh, a little bit. Cause that's just because of the 410 processor versus the 210. Um, but games run very smoothly on this phone. I really don't have any issue with this phone. I did make mention in my review that the only issue I had was battery life. It can't be replaced. The phone is sealed in and has a very small 2000 mAh battery that really just ain't that great. I mean, it don't last very long. You got a 5 inch display that's 720 HD, um, you know, and that, and if, and that really does drain the battery if you are playing games social media, watching YouTube videos, Netflix, whatever the case may be, the battery will drain quick and you definitely need a power bank or a car charger if you're going to be out and about because you will probably need it if you decide to use this phone for taking pictures, taking videos, uh, just playing with it, you know, playing games on it, uh, social media, stuff like that if you're bored. Um, it's got a really nice 8 megapixel camera on the rear with flash with a 2 megapixel on the front towards the 720 front and rear and this phone runs between 100 and 130 bucks depending on where you buy it from and this phone is awesome. I would recommend this phone to anybody. Now I will say the 210 processor is not the fastest on the block. Now you all know that but for a budget device this thing does run very well. And, you know, other than a little bit of hiccup, lag here and there, when it gets really bogged down, you can't beat the phone. I mean, it's a really good phone, really nice size, feels really good in the hand. The screen is just beautiful on this thing. Um, I mean, you can look at it here and you can just see that the screen is just so vibrant and so clear. It ain't doing it justice right now, but it's very clear very vibrant and the phone is just extremely smooth. Um, it just looks really good. So, you know, thumbs up to HTC for making a very good phone for Boost Mobile and not stripping it like they do a lot of other phones like the G Stylo, you know, compared to the Metro PCS version. You know, that it, it is 1.5 gigabytes of RAM and if it has 60 gigs of onboard storage, it'd be perfect, but it don't, so it's got eight uh, and all that stuff. So just my recap of the HTC Desire 626S. Still a great phone. I use it very often. Right now, I did decide just to go to a bare basic phone. 
My daily driver right now for like a day is going to be the uh, Alcatel One Touch Elevate, just to just 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 to use it. You know, it won't last very long as a daily driver, but you know, this phone right here is great. It's excellent. It's my majority daily driver because you know it's a perfect size. It feels very good in the hand. It's smooth and it does what it's supposed to do. So this recap update helped you out any at all. Um, give me that thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. And I'll get back with you as soon as possible. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so by hitting that subscribe button down below. I'd really appreciate it. Y'all have a good one, and we'll see y'all in the next video.